Looking to protect here, and uh, yeah, we're about to go. We're about to go. I'm absolutely pumped. I cannot wait to see how these cars are going to do. So on the left-hand side, we've got Tanner Faust in for McLaren XE. Abt Cooper XE has got Nasser Alataya back in the driving seat. Then we have in the middle for JB XE, Jensen Button's team, Heike Kovalainen, and rookie driver, looking to impress today. And a brand new team, Carl Cox Motorsport, looking for a bit of redemption. We have Timmy Hansen back again for Andretti Altakiet. OK, then, eyes on those lights. It's a random gap between when the green comes on so none of the drivers can predict it away. Look at that reaction time, almost equal across the whole grid, moving backwards for Carl Cox Motorsport. Sideways contact there. Alatier into Tanner Faust. Tanner Faust has the inside line of the whole shot. Kevin Hansen, look, oh, sorry, uh, Kovalainen. Hansen was in that car last year, has moved to the inside line. He's trying the Fraser McConnell move. Can he pull it off on Faust as well? McConnell went round the outside of Faust in the one of the qualifying sections. No, he can't. Roll in the background. That's the Andretti machine's gone over again. Timmy Hansen this time has dipped off in the inside of turn two. The car's upside down. Faust leads. Alatia slots in behind. Hake Kovalainen in P3. Sand flying up in the background. Where's Timo Scheider? There he is. Now, did the Andretti out to Keelett machine land on its wheels or its roof? I reckon it's on its roof. But at the minute, it is Tanner Faust leading for Neon McLaren XE and Alatia in P2. Wow. I mean, so much action there to unpick from the start of that race. But clearly, Tanner Faust had the advantage in the P1 position on the left-hand side. Managed to get a nice, and clean start away from the rest of the pack. They're up the right way, but they're going no further. Frustration on Hansen. Face. Look at that, he's gutted. That is just a shocking start for the weekend. Mullings isn't even going to get a look in. They're going to have to write this one off, Nicky, and just go again tomorrow. Devastating, absolutely devastating for the Andretti Altaquila team. But look up ahead. So we've got Neil McLaren up against the Alt Cooper. Alatia's gone over. Sorry, Nicky. Alatia's gone over the front of the McLaren in the exact same place as Katie Mullings tried to pass. Tanner Faust has had to miss that flag. Heike Kovalainen's missed it as well. In theory, that's a 10 second penalty each but if he's been forced off the track by a shunt I think the stewards might look on that favorably so absolute carnage there's Alatia on his side right? just looking super chilled for a man who's unfortunately had the exact same crash that Mannings had this morning only hasn't quite gone over unbelievable once again that camel grass just getting in the way causing issues uh, getting the cars to turn over I mean so much action again before the start of even one lap completed uh, but good to see that wow. NASA is OK. Uh, but the race does continue. It does indeed. So, Heike Kovalainen out front. Now, remember, they might put some slow zones in. I'm suspecting two slow zones on, on the next three laps, which will mean that the drivers will go in slow in those sections. They may red flag the race when we get into the switch zone. But they've got a whole other lap to go. I'm kind of thinking if we're going to do a lap under safety conditions, you know, putting a, sl a go slow in those zones, we might as well finish the race. So, let, let's see. It depends a bit where the cars are. Yeah, absolutely. And who would have thought the first race would end up is basically just a, a double header at the moment um, between Kovalainen and, and Faust. I mean, this is going to be a fantastic battle on, our, on their hands. Yeah, it is. Look up ahead. Let's see where Timmy Hansen is. They're coming up towards that moment. Faust getting sideways, looking for the inside line. Can't find a way through here. There's a little jump crest. He's right in behind Kovalainen. Look in the background. You can see all the signage has been destroyed as well. So Hansen's off the road somewhere. It looks like turn two is clear, Nicky, so no need to red flag for that. We have got a, the, the screen is showing yellow, and I think that'll just be a go slow, as I say, in that one section where uh, Alatier is parked on his side. Unbelievable. But it just shows, you know, how much the track can change, even in between the sessions. You know, they've taken that line several times today, and yet a small difference in the run has had this kind of outcome. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what happened in turn two, because it was at the back of the pack. You saw Timmy just going inside, then he almost got sucked into one of the holes, which is a, around the trees. You know, when you get a hole around the tree on the sand dunes, Tanner Faust will drop him right down onto the sand. He's going to move across and do it again, the wet sand. And you can see out in front, uh, Hanky Kovalainen doing the same thing. Speed bottom left of your screen. They're capable of around 125 miles an hour flat out. Remember, they weigh about 1,800 kilos, 550 horsepower into the go slow zone. So now they're on the pit lane limiter. Let's see. There's Alatia's car. So the Abt Cooper machine on its side at the side of the track. We're still waiting to see if any of the uh, results will be under investigation. Look at that. It's just wrecked bodywork everywhere. Clambering up the top to get through the gate. The, the right hand side of that waypoint gate is gone. In theory, they should be able to gun it from there. Yes, they have. So they're, so they're away again. And in the background, uh, it's Timo Scheider for Carl Cox Motors. We're trying to get up.
huge knock-on effect for the rest of the paddock. Of course, you know, uh, unfortunately, Katie Munnings won't get out. Clara Anderson won't get out. That is the frustration when you're sharing a drive. Uh, you're so keen to look to impress in the course of this race. But, of course, it does rely on your teammate bringing the car home in one piece for that driver switch, uh, which unfortunately hasn't happened for uh, Abt Cooper and Andresi Etekila in the today's race. I'm loving the fact we've got McLaren here with us. They were here with us, uh, talking to McLaren. There's uh, there's Emma Gilmore. Poor my old McLaren, though. I don't think they've ever seen any of their beautiful race cars quite so beaten up as they get in Extreme E. Um, you can see Cova Linen super late on the brakes there. Uh, oh, is that him? Uh, I thought he was going into the switch zone there, but it, oh, this, there it is. There it is. Yeah, so it was super late into the corner before. Fouts coming in hot now. He'll go late on the brakes too. Harder for him to judge it. Tongue just slightly out. Look, full concentration mode. This is coming in close. Look at this. So, Nicky, it's really close. Across the no, so I'm looking at the timing screen, which is not updated. So that's handy. Uh, on the screen, we'll find the. I'm saying red flag. Okay, they're going red. So that means they're going to get the drivers. They'll do the switch, and then they'll probably have a little clear up, and go? then release the cars yes. based on the gaps coming in. So we do want to see the gaps coming in. No, don't leave. Okay, all right. So how long do you think the red flag will last? It depends how long.